Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be testing out the Team Red Miner version 0.5.7. Okay, so this this soft mining software here is meant for AMD cards specifically. And they just released an update about six days ago. And it basically optimized for AMD cards, more of the other algorithms such as, you know, Vertcoin for Lyra 2 Rev 3, uh, Ravencoin X16R, uh, MTP for Zcoin, Kakarood 29 for Grin, um, Kryptonite R for Monero, and, and lots more. So I've already went ahead and downloaded it. But here's the kicker, guys. What I want to do with Team Red Miner is also test out Claymore 14.7 to see if the memory straps will affect Team Red Miner. So you guys may have seen this video that I did about a week or so ago, August 4th, and I tested out with a NVIDIA card, GTX 1070, uh, with the Claymore 14.7 and using like G Miner or the other softwares that are meant for NVIDIA cards to see if it, it affected much. And it did, a little bit. But with AMD, I'm curious to see if Claymore Miner will be affected with Team Red Miner. So we're going to go ahead and do some tests here. And I know that with AMD cards, there's also the AMD memory tweak, which I'm going to make another video for in which we don't have to utilize Claymore in order to do the memory straps. So I know that there's memory tweak software here, but I will test out with Claymore 14.7 first, and I will make another video regarding the uh, AMD mem tweak. Also, with the Radeon RX 5700 XT, it is now compatible with the mem tweak so I'll showcase that in another video so stay tuned and then at the end of the video I will go ahead with all the hash rates that we get on this RX 580 uh, we will see which coin is the most profitable on what to mine alright guys so I already have in a notepad here I've already went ahead and did the tests without Claymore uh, on Team Red Miner so on 0.5.7 latest version and you can see here on Grin with this RX 580 we can get 3.47 graphs per second um, on Kryptonite R we can get 850 hashes per second on Conceal 1.644 kilo hashes per second uh, Vertcoin 47 mega hash Zcoin 1.7 mega hash Luxcoin 4.8 mega hash and Ravencoin at a 20 minute average is 12.71 mega hash okay so that's without claymore uh, memory straps okay and you guys can see the overclock and undervolt settings that I have here uh, 1200 core 900 millivolts 2250 memory and 900 millivolts and on claymore 14.7 with those settings I can get 33 mega hash with dash strap 2 and RX boost 30 okay so now we're going to test with Team Red Miner all of these coins with Claymore 14.7 in disabled and the memory straps injected. Okay, so we're going to open up Claymore here. And once it's done adding the memory strap and the RX boost, uh, applied successfully, creating the DAG. So once we see a mega hash, I'm just going to press 0 on the keyboard. Up, update memory timings, please wait a few seconds. And updating memory timings has finished. Okay, so boom, we got 33 mega hash at 150 watts total system. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press 0 on the keyboard. GPU 0, mining disabled, and we're going to just leave that open. Okay? Now we go to Team Red Miner and let's just see how much more mega hash we can get on these coins here. So let's let's go ahead. Let's let's open up Grin. Okay, so on the Grin Miner you guys can see here we are going to get about okay, so we got what did we get before? 3.47. All right. So on Grin 29 we should get a little bit more here. Oh, 3.9. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at there. We're going to get about 3.89 graphs per second. Okay, let's put that in. 3.89 graphs per second. 
not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we've gained a delta of 0 0.4 grasps per second extra with memory straps enabled um, through Claymore. Okay, injected. Okay, so let's close that. Let's go ahead and see, try Kryptonite R. I'll get it loaded here before we talk about the grin number here. So, interesting. Pretty good. Pretty nice. I, uh, I suspected that we were going to get a little bit more, definitely. Okay, so on XMR, Kryptonite R, we will probably see an increase in hash rate with the memory straps injected from Claymore. So, okay, so there we go. 971 hashes per second. 984.8 hashes per second. <clears throat> 920 hashes per second, 997, okay, so I think we're going to be hitting pretty much a thousand hashes per second on a RX 580, so I think the average here is going to be about 992 hashes, 993 hashes per second on, on Monero, Kryptonite R on the Team Red Miner, so pretty good guys, pretty good, that's awesome. Next up, let's try Conceal, okay, so Conceal is another coin here, I think is popular Kryptonite coins to mine as of late, um, I think I, we saw CCX go up uh, a couple times in the ca past couple weeks, uh, Savage Mine would know a lot, a lot more about CCX, uh, I'm, I'm not much of a uh, CCX miner, but here I am today trying it out. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So on the original, uh, without Claymore, we got 1.644 kilohashes per second. 1.44 kilohash per second average. Okay, so I'm just going to put 1.944 oh, kilohashes per second. Okay, pretty good. So we've gained 0 0.3 uh, kilohash per second. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and try Vertcoin. Ah, one of my favorite projects here. Okay, so <clears throat> we were getting about, uh, I well, I was getting before 47 mega hash before, okay? And let's see if the memory straps will do anything on Team Red Miner for Vertcoin. I think it's, it's capped, it's capped from, it's capped at 48.25. Yeah, it looks like it's, uh, no, 48.31, 48.47, so I'm going to say around 48.25 mega hash. 48.25 mega hash per second. Okay, so we didn't really gain that much with the memory straps. So yeah, about about one meg 1.25 mega hash extra with with Claymore enabled from the memory straps. Okay, so that's Vertcoin, guys. Take that as you will. Let's go to Zcoin MTP. Okay, so with MTP, I was getting originally without Claymore 1.7 mega hash. Now with Claymore, let's see here, 1.89, yeah, 1.89 mega hash, okay, alright, so not too bad, 1.89 mega hash, we've gained, you know, a good 0 0.2 mega hash more, alright, so that's Zcoin, guys, now let's go ahead and try, uh, let's go try Luxcoin here, I've never mined Luxcoin ever, and it looks like we've only gained not that much really really not that much 4.865 mega hash yeah so okay looks like it stopped there 4.865 mega hash per second okay so with Lux Luxcoin on the Phi 2 algorithm it looks like it hasn't done much with the memory strap all right <clears throat> okay last last but not least guys we're gonna try out Ravencoin x16r with team red miner so we're getting 12.71 mega hash let's see what we get average so I'm going to be doing a 20 minute average on this one as well. So I will see you guys at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, 7 p.m. It's 6.40 right now. So I'm going to let this run for a good 20 minutes. All right, I'll be back. All right, so it has been now 20 minutes. And yeah, as you can see, the average X16R hash rate with the Claymore enabled, it looks like to be 12. 10 mega hash now I was watching it throughout the whole time and I didn't see the the hash rate go up to like 18 or 19 when I was doing the 20 minute average for without Claymore this hash rate did go up to about 18 mega hash uh, for the 
one part of the algo. So I guess I should really be doing an hour average, but uh, I don't really have time to do an hour average. But I'm going to say that the Claymore injection memory straps does not really do much for the Ravencoin hash rate. Anyways, I'm just going to put 12, 1215 here. I'm going to say it's roughly about the same, if not maybe a little bit better, but because X16R, there's 16 di different algorithms that uh, it has to go through. So we got all the hash rates here. So judging by uh, the hash rates that we see now, it looks like there was a big difference between uh, Monero, for Monero, uh, the Grin especially, and Conceal as well. And Vertcoin, uh, give or take, maybe it's the same, but about one mega hash more. Zcoin and about two mega hash more, roughly. So, and for Luxcoin, it looks like it, yeah, it didn't do anything. And for Ravencoin, uh, I'm gonna say it didn't really do much either. Okay, now we are on what to mine. We're gonna go ahead now and see. We're gonna enter in all these hash rates here and just see what is the most profitable coin on this RX 580 with the hash rates that we have now with uh, for the team red miner okay so one RX 580 so we're just gonna put uh, 33 mega hash here um, what else do we got here kryptonite R so that's 993 okay and oh, I totally forgot to put the uh, power consumption for all these coins but I think yeah I think that was around there 150 160 watts minus yeah 130 I'm going to say Kryptonite was like 120 maybe. Okay, now let's see what other coins we have here. Kaku Cycle, Kakaru 29. Okay, so this one was uh, for Grin, 389. 3.89 grass per second. And Conceal, I don't think Conceal is on here. Yeah, it's not. Okay, now for Vertcoin, is Vertcoin on here? Yes, it is. So 48.25. And, oops, and uh, I guess we can close this now. And then for Zcoin, uh, 1.89, 1.89 mega hash. Okay, and Luxcoin, Phi 2, we're getting 4.865, 4.865. Oh, there's no wattage here. I'm just going to put 120, 130, 130. I think it was 130, yeah, uh, on this RX 580. And then Ravencoin, um, I'm just going to put 12.15 uh, Ravencoin X16R. Do they have that on here? Yes, they do. So 12.16 or 15. Okay, and we're going to hit 10 cents a kilowatt hour and calculate. And it looks like we are on par with Ethereum. And, oh, Zcoin, wow, look at that. Zcoin is staying, actually, no, Zcoin's a little bit more profitable uh, after electrical costs. So, uh, <laughs> give or take, I mean, three cents, not really much of a difference. But, wow, as you guys can see here, the new Team Red Miner can do really well now on Zcoin for AMD cards. And, I mean, Kryptonite, Kryptonite uh, for the RX 580 as well is creeping up there. I mean, 0 0.49 cents. Uh, before electrical cost and 0 0.53 cents. I mean, they're all pretty close. They are all really close, really close. MTP on nice hash, yeah. <laughs> and uh, let's see, let's just go down here. V Veil, Vert Coins, 41 cents. Yeah, only 10 cents profit. Uh, if, if you guys really cared about profit, I mean, like, look at this. Like, it looks like Z Coin is the most profitable coin here at 25, uh, 0.2524 cents for one RX 580, okay? Uh, well, for my 580 specifically, this is the Power Color Red Devil. Um, give or take, mileage may vary. Everyone has different cards, silicon lo lottery, all that kind of stuff. So you guys make sure you put in the hash rates that you get specifically, and you can see at the time uh, what's your which card, well, what's profitable on your card. Well, anyways, guys, that was a fun little test. Let me know what you guys think about this and the new Team Red Miner. I think it's pretty cool now that AMD cards can finally, you know, do really well on other algorithms. Uh, Zcoin and um, 
I guess that's really the only one <laughs> for this for this video, but it's nice to see a MTP the MTP protocol do really well in an RX 580 8 gigabyte, 8 8GB card. So anyways guys, let me know what you think. Smash the like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.